I'm dishing it out now so you can see how it looks <coughs> nutritious healthy veggies pepper lamb what's not to like hello guys welcome to my channel my name is Efe and this is my kitchen Efe's food kitchen in today's video I am going to be making lamb and vegetable stir fry which I'm going to be having with rice so the first ingredient in front of you is lamb leg sticks so that's what I'm going to be using for this recipe the next thing is two scotch bonnet pepper I'm not too sure if, if I'm going to use both of them I might just use one I'm not too sure red onions which I just sliced roughly mixed pepper so you have the red the orange and the green next to it you have bird's eye well this is a uh, mixed veg which is frozen so as you can see everything is already frozen so what I know for a fact is they only choose the best vegetables though you know good the vegetables that are in good, good condition before they freeze it so and this is you can actually steam this one or for this recipe I'm not going to be steaming it I'm just going to be using it as is you know straight from the bag so that is the steam fresh vegetables which has sweet corn carrots and broccoli as you can see in the photo next thing I'm going to be using some parsley as well next to it you have broccoli I was going to use that that's before I actually realized that there was some broccoli in the steamed veg so I'm not going to be using that anymore so next let's talk spices spices guys what you have there is smoked paprika next to it you have rosemary you can't have lamb without rosemary it's either you use the dried one which i'm using or you can use the fresh one which i don't have so that's why i resorted to using this one then in this other one you have 14 spices this is something that i just discovered it has a lot of spices it's almost like an all-purpose seasoning and next to it you have ginger and garlic paste in front of you is something i discovered today which my friend told me about is called maggi hot and sweet sauce i'm going to be using just a little of that then you have soy sauce bouillon powder it's like you know maggi cube instead of crushing it this is the one that is already crushed i'll open it and show you what it looks like so that is it guys it's already been crushed so it makes your life easy as well vegetable oil and low sodium salt i'm really not a fan of salt so if i have to use salt it, it either has to be low sodium salt um pink himalayan salt or sea salt so without further ado let's jump straight into the video guys so i've finished prepping all the veg i don't know if you can see let me show you all the veg have been prepped so now I want to do the um, the lamb. I'm just gonna cut it into strips, tiny strips, you know. So because I'm I'm making a stir fry, I'm not making a stew. If I was making a stew, then I'll make it bigger. But I'm making a stir fry. So first thing I'm going to do is open it. So that's what it looks like lamb leg steak this is lamb so i am going to be using two of it so i'm going to go and wash it now with salt and water for a few minutes maybe i'll wash it three or four times then pat it dry so there's no moisture then i'll be back so as you can see the lamb has been washed thoroughly so now i'm going to pat it dry so it's dry fully dry because I don't want any moisture in this lamp at all. I'm just going to pat it dry properly. So it's dry, really dry. Mm. 
I just want it dry. So the less moisture you need, the better. So see, that's what I want. So now I'm going to start cutting, slicing them. I'm, I'm going to start slicing them into strips. Very thin. As thin as I can get it. Something like this. So something like this is what I want. And I'll continue doing this till it's all done. So let's season this lamb, guys. So the first thing I am going to do is add some water to this bowl. That's like, uh, I'll say a third of a cup or quarter of a cup. To that, I am going to be adding some soy sauce. Soy sauce. I'm adding, this is a, a third of a cup me measure of cups. So I'm adding I'll add some more. So that makes it half of this cup measurement. And then to that, I'm adding my 14 spices, that one. I'm adding two teaspoons. I'm also adding smoked paprika. Adding not heaped. One teaspoon, level teaspoon. Next thing I'm adding is bouillon, but you know what I said about the salt. I'm just going to be adding a little, not too much of it. Half of a spoon. Half of a spoon. You can always taste it as you go along to make sure that you have the right. So I'm just going to be giving that a mix. Next thing I am going to add is my ginger and garlic so i'm adding a teaspoon a heap teaspoon of that i'm gonna give that a mix again Just keep mixing it till it's all combined. Then last but not least, I'm adding hot and sweet sauce. It says hot, but trust me, it's not hot. I don't know whether it's uh, sweet bell pepper they put, but I don't think it's scotch bonnet. So I'm using half of this spoon. I don't know what this would be. This would be a teaspoon, yes. So I'm gonna be giving that a mix. So let me taste for salt. Mm. Okay, it's not too salty, which is okay. So next thing I'm going to do is add some corn flour, which I forgot to put on this table. So here's the corn flour, guys. So I'm going to be adding a tablespoon of that. That's it. So I'm going to be giving that a mix. So basically the reason why I'm adding corn flour or, or corn starch as it's called, I want the, the you know mixture 
for the to use to marinate the meat to be a bit thick so that when I start stir frying it it will be a bit thick not two or three and that's it guys so I'm going to be pouring that into the meat into the lamb and I'm going to leave that to marinate I'm just going to put that to mix then I'm going to leave that for about an hour so let's start making this stir fry so the pan is hot so I'm just going to put a bit of oil not too much just that much so I was going to let that get hot and when it's really smoking hot I'm going to start putting my meat in so that's the meat the lamb it's, oh, it's been marinating for over an hour so I'm going to start So I had to put a lid over it, so it was jumping everywhere. Let me turn it down. So I'm just gonna let that go for three to five minutes. You see the mixture is a bit thick because of the corn flour that I put in. So I'm just gonna leave that for a few minutes, more minutes. It is brown. Well, not too brown, but a bit browner than what it is at the moment then i'll start putting i was going to take it out but i said no i'll just leave it in so it's cooking on low heat well not too low but medium medium low heat so i'm just going to let that cook till it's tender i'll wait for another one or two minutes and now it's been exactly two minutes so now I'm adding the onions I'm adding the pepper I'm going to leave that to incorporate for a few minutes and I'm going to add the veggies the reason why I'm adding the veggies at the end because I don't want it to be too soggy so I'm going to put is one of the you see it's got sweet corn broccoli and carrots so I'm going to be putting that in And last but not least, I'm going to put in our sweet peppers, the green, red and the orange. You can put the co any color of pepper you have. But this just makes it look so pretty with all the colors popping out. So I'm just going to give that a stir and let it just steam a little bit. Then remember the um, sauce. Remember the sauce from the chicken. I'm um, sorry, the lamb marinade. I'm gonna be pouring that in a little. instead of adding water. I'm adding that. I'm gonna give that a stir, and then I'm going to close it for two minutes. And then I'm gonna be switching it off. And our stir fry is ready guys see nice and crunchy vegetables very healthy stir fry with uh, sweet peppers carrots broccoli and lamb you can use this with rice you can have this with yam you can have this on its own or we have you can have it with boiled potatoes however way you want it but we'll be having ours with white basmati rice there you have it guys 
our lamb and veggie stir fry. That's the food in front of you. I'm just going to put some parsley on top of it just for garnish. And that's the rice. I'm just going to taste, show you what, how tender the lamb is. Let me take one. Which one will I take now? Okay. I'm going to take the big one. <laughs> I'll take one of the peppers first, see? Mmm. That is delicious, guys. And I'm not just saying because I cooked it. I'm saying because it's true, see? See? It's well cooked. It's, there's no pink in it, so it's well, it's well cooked. It's delicious. So I'm going to be eating it with the rice, which I cooked earlier. So guys, if you like this video, please give your girl a big thumbs up like comment and subscribe and share with all your friends and loved ones and i'll see you in my next video bye